Amanda with amandascorner.com. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to go through a sequence of different plank type exercises. Um, a lot of times I'll just throw together a bunch of different variations of things for clients. It can be a really challenging and tough portion of the workout. It can get the heart rate up as we move from one thing to the next and it definitely challenges both strength and flexibility. Um, I did not sleep well last night and I can feel myself dragging this morning, so I'm hoping to choose some things that might bring me a little bit more energy for the day. So, I'm going to start on a light spring and I don't have um, particular things choreographed in mind, so I'm just going to kind of see what feels good to my body and go through a sequence and I may not give as many details as I do when I break down one exercise at a time, but I will try to give you important cues and I'll let you know what springs I'm choosing. And um, so if you try these, then please pick something that will be safe for you. If you want to use something lighter that's going to be more challenging or a heavier spring that will give you more support. Just stay safe. Okay, I'm gonna start on a light and I'm gonna come up on top. I'm gonna start with a narrow version of elephant. I'm going to bring my feet parallel to the front edge here, and my shoulders line up over the wrist, the head drops down, the shoulders draw down the back, and then around up through the stomach. I'm going to inhale to press back, my toes are lifted, I'm going to exhale and squeeze under. I'm going to let the head dangle, try to relax the jaws. I'm going to use three more, just to start to warm up here. Softness in my elbow joints. I'm going to continue with an elongated elephant, elephant and I'm going to take my heels right up. They're going to butt right up against the shoulder rest, feet flat. I'm going to let the head drop down. I'm going to lift the toes. And again, movement from the hip joints, inhaling back. I'm going to use the stomach to pull the carriage all the way into the stopper. I find a lot of people don't come all the way in with the carriage. And that last little bit of movement houses a whole lot of power and work. So take advantage of your full range. I'm going to do three more and keeping the heels glued, the toes and feet active. Arms are here for support, but the work here is the stomach, drawing the carriage in. I'm going to squeeze it all the way in. I'm going to come down onto the knees. I'm going to come into knee stretches. So I will tuck my toes along the bottom edge here. I'm going to let the carriage come in, and I'm going to sink and set my hips so that they're posterior, they're behind the knees. Arms are here for support, shoulders down, beginning rounded. I'm going to inhale and press back. I'm still on a light spring. And same principle, I'm going to use that stomach to draw it all the way in. So I have a little stopper here in the front right, right hand side of my frame. And I want to pull the carriage all the way in. And I want to be gentle pulling it in, so I'm, I'm decelerating it. I don't want it to be a bouncy or jerky movement. I want to keep the grace and fluidity through the sequence, but I want to take advantage of using the whole range and getting the work and the strengthening benefits of that. I'm going to squeeze it all the way in. I'm going to come into a little bit of a cat tilt. I'm going to keep the sit bones reaching up. I'm going to look up in front. I'm going to continue this. I want to keep and maintain this anterior pelvic tilt throughout the entire exercise. The knee stretches I do have another video of where I really go into probably too much detail breaking it down <laughs> if you have questions. I tend to offer too much detail, but that keeps people safe and informed. Okay, I'm going to switch to a medium string for down stretch and I get a little bit more weight. And now I'm going to move from the shoulders. So this feels really good on my back right now. It's a long inverted curve, but I'm still drawing the navel into the spine. And as I warm up here into extension, I will probably get a little bit more movement. Again, it's morning here. My body is a little cranky, as a lot of people's bodies are in the morning, especially if you didn't sleep great. Inhale back, exhale up. Pulling it all the way up. I'm going to add rotation to this. So I'm going to bring the left hand to the center. I'm going to inhale open and exhale up and forward. A little bit of a twist and opening through the chest. Continuing to draw the tummy in. 
and saying good morning to the obliques. Inhale back. Exhale up. I'm going to come all the way up and forward. I'm going to keep my medium spring. I'm going to come into a plank variation with my heels about halfway to three quarters of the way up the shoulder rest. Again, shoulders come over wrists, soft elbows. I'm going to press back from the shoulders, maintaining that plank shape. Exhale forward. So I like to press back until I get a little bit of shaking through the core. And you will get a little bit of shaking. If you're not feeling shaking and you have a really big range, then you probably need to go to a lighter setting. But once you feel that shaking, I think that's the nervous system's way of saying it's time to come back in. So honor where you're at. Inhaling back. Um, I am very happy to take three to four of these with good form from clients. They're usually ready for a break. I'm going to do six here today. Exhale up and forward. So I'm going to come back into flat feet. I'll keep it on medium. I'm going to come into a squared off arabesque. So I'm going to keep my left foot anchored down, flat here, heel against the shoulder rest. I'm going to let the right leg come straight out through the headrest, and I'm going to lift it. So I do not want that right hip to open. I'm going to keep things really squared off. Hips are level, SI joints are level. From here, I'm going to relax the head. I'm going to go into basically a one-legged elephant. So I'm going to inhale and press back, and exhale, squeeze from the belly. I'm going to keep reaching out through this top leg, and I'm lifting this right leg from that right cheek and hamstring. One more, and I have the feet flexed. So three or four of these is usually a nice number. We're going to come up, inhale back, exhale, squeeze it forward. to an elephant variation on Rello Bay. Um, I might pop this to a heavier setting. I'm going to try it on medium. A lot of people like this heavier. And my body is a little tired today, but I'm going to try it on medium. So again, I'm on Rello Bay. I'm going to drop the head back. I'm going to inhale and press back. Exhale, squeeze it forward. Draw the belly straight up to the ceiling. 
fold back. So I'm keeping the carriage under and I'm doing that with the power of the tummy. Okay, so I'm going to inhale, press back, unfold the body, come forward. And then I'm going to lift up and back using the stomach and keeping the carriage still. So that is work for the belly and the legs. This time I'm going to change it. So I'm going to come forward with my plank. I'm going to press back out. It's like a long stretch. And you're going to pull all the way in like elephant. Find a stretch. So I unfold the body with an inhale. Exhale forward. Take it back out. And draw it in. And squeeze. One more. And squeeze all the way in. Good. So I'm going to relax and come down to the knees. I should have mentioned this at the beginning. <laughs> all of this is a lot of pressure and work through the wrist. So you want to stop and take breaks often and shake out the wrist. Or um, I usually wear supportive gloves, wrist gloves, which I didn't do for this video. Um, but that's helpful as well. So I'm going to keep it on yellow. I'm going to come into reverse plank. My hands are going to come on top of the Shoulder rest, feet in a small V, and then I'm going to inhale and press the shoulders forward, arms forward, exhale, pull back until the hands line up underneath the shoulders.